Hey, how you doing? This is Darth Hessian. Anyway, hey, I'm going to come up with a response to Sean's video that he just put out. I just watched it and I got some opinions on it because, well, I'll just I'll just go through it. That's the best way to do it. Just keep going with it and let 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 it come out and let's just show what I, my opinions are on this. First of all, Sean is a little rough around the edges, but I got absolutely no problem with that because I have no problem with anybody that kind of puts it out there and says, hey, this is the way I feel about it, take it or leave it. And that's who he is. And therefore, I have no problem with him throwing out what his opinions are and what he feels about it. On the other part with the GMs and and not doing enough games or and I, and I'll be honest I'm not the best judge of character on this because the way I do things but what he says about life getting in the way oh trust me I know this way too well and the best way to describe it is the game I run and the main guys that play this are Sean and Andre and Andre does every once in a while Come, we, we start schedule and everything else, and he comes and he's like, dude, I can't do this, and he actually tried to drop out of the games just to say, hey, I can't continue with this because, and, I, and actually he didn't say this, but I, I'm just guessing from what he was saying, or rephrase that a little bit, I'm just guessing from what you say, hey, I don't want to hold you guys up, and I know I'm doing that, and my personal opinion is you're not. But the other part, yes, life gets in the way, and that's just the way it is. And therefore, it's like, okay, with that, it's like, okay, well, I'll, you know, we make arrangements, we get other people in, we change the storyline a little bit, and you have to be flexible. I have a supervisor, or I had a supervisor, who is a lieutenant colonel who just uh, retired, lieutenant colonel in the Army, and he was my supervisor where I work. And one of his favorite things he used to say was Marine Corps guys don't get offended simper gumpy meaning be flexible because I, I see the post it's like oh we're doing this game and it's going to be every week and then oh I got to drop out or wait I can't do this so it's, and you know in my personal opinion you got to be a little flexible with it one of the things I do with my games is I say okay when can everybody meet and we arrange a date and then we get closer to that date and I'm like, hey, is everybody good with this? So far, yes. And then if someone has to, so I can't do this, I, uh, something came up, and you just, you be flexible with it. It's like, okay, then I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna make either number one, I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna take you out of the adventure here and play the story around you not being there. And then maybe even get somebody else in whether temporary for that one game or multiple games or whatever it's just it's a matter of flexibility and the fact of the matter is is that the game channel is great it's been good to me it's I mean for someone that I'll be honest I I'm not the best GM in the world and I know it and I screw the hell if you see my videos I screw everything up left and right and it's like half the half time people are probably looking at things going, you're not following any rules, I know. But the storytelling is the best part of it. And that's what makes it, and you have to understand that. So I guess where I'm coming with, on with this is I think that as GMs and players, you have to be flexible with this. It's like we're not doing, in other words, it's like we have to do this every single week. And we every single week we got to be on Saturdays. I'm sorry, Saturdays are valuable to people. And you just gotta, it's kinda like, you know what? Let's get the group together, when's the best time to do it? Okay, you make the dates for it. Something comes up, okay, you gotta skip it. And we get, and it's understandable. You make arrangements around it. It's just, I mean, it is simper gumpy. It is, be flexible with what you're doing. It's like, okay, if it doesn't work, don't get upset because people can't show up. Now, given you get the players every once in a while, it's like, okay, one chance, two chance, three chance, four chance. They never show up after three, four chances. And 
okay, okay, you got to drop it. Well, that's their problem, not yours. You've been flexible, you've been worked with them, and you just have to let it go, for lack of a better term. And and you just got, if, if those players don't work, then you just got to let them go. I mean, that's just the way it is. And then you just got to write it into the story or out of the story. Or however, the funny part is, is that can make really good storylines, actually, if you think about it. Oh, this guy wasn't here. He's missed several times. And it's like you expect him to be there. He wasn't there, so you kept expecting him to be there. He's not there. He's not there. He's not there. And you're actually playing the game when he's not there. And you try to expect him to be there. He doesn't show up. And then, okay, and then you just adjust the storyline while he's there or not there in this case. And I found that works so well because it's like this. The, the thing with this system, and that's what I love about this system, is this is in Dungeons & Dragons. Dungeons & Dragons, any edition, 5th edition, I love it, but the fact of the matter is, it's like, oh, you got to plan this out. you got to do this. Put this encounter here. This, put this in there. Star Wars, on the other hand, you can fly off the moment. You can add stuff that's not there. You can just add this here and add this there and then subtract this if it doesn't work. Or, I mean, there's so much you can do with it and it's so fly the moment you can do it. And that's what you gotta realize about this system is you just push it, you do it, you have fun with it and you just be flexible. You just, my games personally, if you watch them, I don't plan them out too far too far ahead, but I let the characters drive them and it goes a certain way and things start going. I go, wait a second, this ain't working the way the way I expected it to. I go, wait, I'll throw this in and just make it unexpected. And that's what it's all about in a lot of ways. I mean, as I said, do I think things are dropping off? I don't know if they are or not. I really don't. I, I don't spend enough time to really give a good opinion on it. I just think everybody has to be a little more flexible about what we do and why we do it. And just understand that life gets in the way. No, trust me, I know that a lot more than a lot of people. And you just have to let it go and just, just accept. And this is one of the things I've learned from that same supervisor. People don't intend to screw you over. They don't intend to do that. They just, it just kind of happens. Given if it happens enough times, it's like, okay, it ain't gonna work, you gotta drop it. And go a different route. But you just gotta work with it and understand people are, people are gonna be more serious than others. Other people, and that's, and that's it, when I do my games, I'm like, you know what, we find out when we can do it, what we can do it, and just and if it doesn't quite work okay we're flexible about it we don't blame other people for it we just let it go and we just try to work with it best as possible so you know what semper gumpy